Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. One of the characteristics of our day is rebellion and defiance. We're aware of it on the national scene as well as the international scene. If a person were to suddenly visit this planet and become aware of our surroundings and watch the proceedings of a divorce court, a courtroom scene, crime on the streets, heartbreak of homes, he could perhaps get the idea that defiance does pay off. It seems as though those who are defying the law and the truth are getting away with it. Homes are marked by rebellion and intimidation. Children are in control. Parents aren't directing things, the kids are. I don't know if you followed the particular case in Colorado, but a young man has sued his parents for parental malpractice. $350,000 in damages, as he claims they have inflicted him with these things with intentional emotional distress. The court apparently is falling back in favor of the parents' argument that it was not willful and wanton, and they might win the case, but they're not sure. Another characteristic of our times, isn't it? There's a contempt for authority. Uh, a man by the name of Talbot writes in his work, The Breaking of Authority. Gordon Talbot says, Your chance of becoming a victim of crime has doubled in just 10 years. Your chance of becoming a victim of a violent crime has increased by more than five times in the same period. Today you have a 1 in 20 chance of being a victim of any crime. You have a 1 in 100 chance of being a victim of a violent offense. To make matters even worse, there is this desperate sense of, a, of a depravity in our midst, and we see it in national calamity. When damages occur across our land, it is amazing how many people are there not to give compassion, but to steal from the victims. Uh, three tornadoes ripped through Omaha, Nebraska in 1975, destroying 500 homes, damaging 1,000 others, killing three people and injuring 132. National Guardsmen were called out not to help in the calamity, but to patrol a 3,400 square block area to prevent looting. The Nebraska governor surveyed the area and said it was the worst case of property damage in the history of Nebraska. It's a sad commentary on our modern society that men with guns had to prevent scavengers from helping themselves to things in devastated sections of the city. As a matter of fact, some of you hearing my voice at this moment wrestle with the problem of defiance. It has come out in your home, it has come out in your work, it has come out in your relationship with people. Defiance and resentment are there. Defiance is always a tough thing to deal with. If you have a defiant mate, it's a hard thing to live with. Some mates are so defiant that for the partner to bring to their attention wrong in their lives, they've got a fight on their hands. Some children are so defiant that the mentioning of their wrong brings an incredible explosion in the home. Pastors deal with that rather frequently. Some kids are so defiant that absolutely against parental desire and request, they marry. They marry whomever they wish, how often they may wish to marry them. However many they may wish to live with, they continue to do that. Those are signs of defiance, even though some of those are born-again people. Activities of carnality. We tend to think of teens as having the corner on rebellion and defiance, but those tendencies are in all of us, no matter what our age. The Bible has some strong words on the subject. 1 Samuel 15 verse 23 says, Rebellion is as sinful as witchcraft, and stubbornness is as bad as worshiping idols. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, 
How God Deals with Defiance, was copyrighted in 1978, and the Sifetrack sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.